Hello everyone, my name is Tom, welcome back to another video here for my reaction to episode 13 of the Alhas in season 2. Today is time for any sport in a storm. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoy, uh, it would be highly appreciated. Another week and uh, another episode of the Alhas, always super looking forward to see what is going to happen. Last week it was amazing, we got to meet Flip Witterbin, which I saw this on Morgan Terry's channel and I thought it was genius. Flip what a bitch. Morgan, if you're watching this, no, no, no one watches my video. I don't know if it's you who made that joke. Congratulations, that was an amazing pun. Or if it wasn't Morgan, it was someone else. And I'm recording this for the first time in a while on a Saturday. Because <laughs> I tend to record on Mondays because I don't have time during the weekend, but today I have. So anyway, let's go to my reaction because it's what you guys want to see. So without further ado, strap in and let's go. Oh yes, let's go. Hunter is back. If you don't know, if there is a character that I really like, it's Hunter because I love his zero fuck given attitude. The penultimate episode where he got that fight with Emity, it was amazing. It showed us two things that he has this kind of attitude and needs therapy. Everyone needs therapy. This show is a therapy. Is this an episode where we're going to see him, you know, going even softer? Let's see. Ah, okay. <laughs> Why I was stressed out? Oh wow. Well, he's still on his side, it seems. Come back here. Nah, that no one cares. Play arts and crafts, so. Okay, no one likes Hunter, it seems. That's why he's all f***ed up in the head. <laughs> <coughs> and it seems that I'm all f***ed up in the lungs. Hmm. The dude is constantly getting sh. And by the way, we can all agree that Everwolf is basically furry heaven. In all the lab. Then maybe you can get this oh, that's interesting. Of course you will. Is there gonna be, you You're know, some you kind will. of evaluation at the Exide? It's a good option, I think. Oh no, not sure the short intro, please. I love the song. Oh, it has sport in the name, so... Grudge me? No, just Willow... Willow appreciation, appreciation episode, I can hear the talk. Ah. Willow appreciation episode. You know, I think Willow doesn't have the time that she deserves in this show. Wait! She plays Grudge Me? Well, she did well in that game, so... Oh, I missed x -Side. Oh, look at that pose! The amount of power in that pose is ginormous. But I'm interested in something with it's just me or she has a different hairstyle? I think she does. It's the first time that I'm seeing someone skinnier than me. <laughs> this is incredible, once again. Character evolution. Willow, in the first episode of season one, she was so shy, so you know, her confidence was like below zero. But now is high. You can't even see. Anyone interested? The art doesn't do it any favors. Oh, everyone is gonna get wild on Twitter because he has a rainbow, and she doesn't like probably because it has a. Mm. No, I, I gotta search on the internet to see if there is, you know, um, any Azura fan fictions. Maybe if I like, I might join the club. Uh, get the hell out, Sposha. <laughs> I'm confident that she'll change at some point. Guys, calm down. She's blushing because she was running, okay? The author of Azura is from the human realm or the witch realm? No, I'm confused because... No, we got to know in the, the first season that Emity also has a collection, so... Who's writing this? Yes, exactly. Classmate, ignore the fact that we've never met. What if I told you all? You uh, yellow means that he's from the potions class. Uh, I no, yes, it is. <laughs> Not as cool as the emperor's. This is what happens when you don't socialize with people of your own age. You you basically don't know how to talk. Once again, Hunter equals needing therapy. Hell yeah, youth is the future. Oh, Vinny is back. It's been years. Ah, uh, he doesn't know. He's a boomer. But look at this guy. He's so lazy that he doesn't even walk. He uses an abomination. Do you think this guy likes sports? Okay, I don't know if this is a picture of him or not. Okay. It seems that we have uh, the player. <laughs> this never gets old in cartoons, right? Was amazing. You're a new student, right? Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. They don't know who he really is. 
maybe I will give it a try. Really? But okay. How you know, deep down, he's a nice guy. It will take its time until you know changes the side. Making this team a thing. Don't mess this up for her. The chemistry between Willow and Gus, I've, in my opinion, is super underrated. I'm not seeing this becoming a relationship like Lumity, but he definitely has everything to be. Um, I mean, it already is one of the strongest friendships that I've ever seen. She's been keeping it secret this whole time because she's embarrassed by all the spelling errors. And. Uh... <laughs> wow! Oh no, Luz, don't cry. Trust me, Hunter, they are great. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Yep. They're clearly showing their true colors. Are you say Viney? Why do I say Vini? I've been saying your name, um, you know, incorrectly this whole time. I think that's her. Why the hell? The Tiny nose? You gotta love these grudge big costumes. I think we're gonna have a. <gasps> Jerbo? <laughs> what you can do. Never mind, the guy likes to play. <laughs> Forget what I said. Uh, is supposed to ship those two? Because we're always shipping Viney with Emera, by to not witnessing any interaction between them. Oh, look at this! She's. No. Oh, wow. Yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, it's done. Wow. It disappeared out of nowhere. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's not his fault. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh no! I was liking this so much. Why, Dana? Why? Wow, they're gonna be kidnapped. Who wants to go to the Emperor's Coven? Who wants in 2022? But you don't have freedom because you're in a coven, so you're. I, I give up. Oh, he's gonna feel bad now. He did all this for a cape. Uh huh. See you at the castle, Golden Guard. How is this guy still in the coven? Yep. <laughs> he always has the chills when he thinks about that. Why the hell? Why the hell this reminds me of Tiny Nose? Where's my million dollars? Heroes, I mean. I must have been the only one that got this right. Full time? <laughs> I'm surprised as you are. Wait, is this Jude? Edited a few more of those author photos, boss. Some what the hell is work. happening? <gasps> Luz? No, it, it, it's not Luz, it's the president of Mexico. <laughs> ah, so it's not a, a witch writing the books, a human writing the books, and they collect them from Earth, and in the back you put a pointy ear so it doesn't look weird. Simple. It's not a scam if the product is good. Yep. <laughs> I swear, the sky in this show. <laughs> That's a bonk. <laughs> You're screwed. Come on, Hunter. It's time to shine. Oh, yes. He's even more off the coven. Or maybe not. I completely forgot that the talisman was there. Okay. This was weird from the abomination leader. Suspicious. Cute uniforms. Sweating. 
<laughs> we got a stroke. <laughs> Don't worry guys, we're gonna be fine. These episodes are not disappointing me by any means. Each week is even better than the week before. It's amazing. What is this? Great animation, amazing storyline. Numity, despite not being the main thing, is still there. What the hell is happening? This is Witch Heaven. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, um, I was expecting Hunter to go uh, softer and uh, indeed it happened. And like I said, it's a question of time until he starts to, you know, be more off the coven and be more on the other side. It will take it's time. We're still gonna get to a stage where we have a, a battle between them. When I'm saying them, uh, I'm talking about Hunter, Luz, and so on. I'm seeing here a progression similar to what was with Lilith. What we witnessed with uh, Lilith, uh, we're gonna see something very similar with Hunter, in my opinion. He's not meant to be part of the cover, and it must be really hard for him not, uh, you know, living his best years of his life not being a normal teenager. I understand this, and deep down he must feel very frustrated, but there's something in him that uh, is, you know, making him stick with Emperor Bello. I don't know if it's just because it's his nephew, or if there is something more that we don't know. One thing is certain, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge. We have here a huge iceberg which we need to melt so we can get all the information. We're gonna melt this Siri iceberg, okay? Let's not melt the real ones, okay? Another thing that was great is seeing uh, an episode focused more on Willow. I think uh, um, it was about time to have uh, an episode like this. Willow for me, one of the best characters in the show, super underrated, and I think the main reason for that is Lumity. Everyone is focused on Lumity, which, you know, fair enough, I'm always focused, I really love that ship, but uh, he kind of makes the fandom forget about uh, Willow. We must appreciate everything, okay? Not just one thing, in my opinion. And talking about Lumity is amazing. This is a ship uh, that is different from the other one, not just because they are two girls, you know, it's also because of that. It's a huge milestone having LGBT characters, despite Disney not wanting them. If they didn't want, why they allow the show? I think Disney has a mix of feelings. I think they don't really know what they want in life. For a moment we all thought, okay, Disney is being more open. This is great for the future. No, it turns out that they're still jackasses. <laughs> but like I was saying, this ship is quite interesting and very different from that ones that we're used to see. Generally, in a ship we have these oscillations, a bit of toxicity in the middle of the show, but in this one, there's nothing. Everything is perfect. There's nothing trying to stop them. I'm not counting Disney. But inside the show, there is nothing, you know, trying to stop. At some point, maybe Emity's mom can be a factor coming to play. But yeah, um, this show, there's something different comparing to the other ones. And I think this is a strong reason why everyone loves this. It's not toxic. It has a story. It's not too cliche, which for me is a huge plus. It has a great development. In the first episodes of this show, uh, Lumati wasn't even an option. It was considered, I don't know, some kind of sin. You know, it's too early to judge. There's still a lot of episodes to come out. There's still season 3. What I'm saying can be absolute trash in a few weeks time but you can't deny that uh, it's different from we are used to see but one thing is certain these episodes are getting even better as the weeks go by i'm just so excited to see what is in store for us in the next one if you reached to here thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more content than phoebe and the owl house content in this channel and if you could share this video it would be highly appreciated but that has been me for today my name is tom and i'll see you guys for a brand new video next time enjoy the rest of your day goodbye